Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with those who are interested. Uh, the title of the video is Why Indonesia Muslims Enjoy Islam? That's the question. You know, I mean, the question leading us to believe that they enjoy Islam, but do they? I don't think so. But I will tell you what they enjoy of Islam. You know, first of all, you know, Islam is a business. In every generation, there is business opportunity. And there is people who take advantage of it, and there is people who don't, or they do not know how. Or let us say they did not get the opportunity to do so. So you will find a lot of people in Indonesia who they found that Islam is a very, very, very good business. All what we need to do, shout, teach hate, and then we will be supported by those who they support such a belief. And then we became powerful in politics, in money, in etc. But there is other things in Islam which is very much enjoyable for a human being. And when I say enjoyable, I mean, I'm talking about you do things which you cannot do in different religion. As an example, you know, uh, we made a video, previous video, and we found that this guy Razik, Shahib Razik, whatever his name, who called himself Habib, supposedly from Muhammad, uh, that they found him, his, he was uh, chatting with the Muslim women, asking her for nude pictures, which I find, I mean, very funny to say that he was doing something bad, when in Islam, this is not bad at all. Because according to Islam, all of this is something coming from Allah. You know, if you remember in the Hadith, and this is Sahih, it says, verily, Muhammad, he said, verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in, in which he, of necessity, he must commit. So a Muslim in Islam, he feel no guilt when he commit any sin because it is a necessity to do. It's Allah, he forced him to do it. That's why the Muslim, they believe in something called fitrah. You know, if you ask a Muslim what fitra is, they say fitra, uh, you know, fitra like Allah, He created us in a certain way. Okay, what is that way? You know? And then you go and you try to find out what those people are talking about. Is fitra is your natural way of being a sinner person or it's being a good person? And then you will find that the Muslims are so confused about this, but all of them, all of them, they go by the belief of destiny because destiny is the main. Uh, uh, let us say a major belief in Islam. If you don't believe it in it, you are not a Muslim. So if you go and try to find out uh, what what fitra is, you will find every Muslim he give you different definition. As an example here, this is how much confused this religion is. Islam, as known as Deen al fitra the religion of uh, primordial state. What does that mean? Of a human which means the way you are created okay what does that mean i mean the way you are created what does that mean this is this is so stupid so plain in order to understand that we have to go to the quran and then they will see the real stupidity when somebody is bad who is the one who make him bad the quran says that allah is the one who inspired the soul to be evil or good now, if you read the interpretation for this verse, you will see every Muslim scholar give you different interpretation. For Islam is made by stupid, uh, I mean, prophet who, you know, I mean, and most of those who follow, they have no idea what this is. It's a, it's a total contradiction. So if you go and read the translation for the, of this verse, chapter 91, verse number 8. And by the way, you can read 10 verses before it and 10 verses after it because it doesn't make any sense anyway. It's just a stupid Quran trying to make a point, but he broke it badly. I mean, it's stupid. What is that? Stupid thing. You know, very stupid. But look what here says. And Allah inspired the soul. It is wrong and it is right. 
You go and try to understand the interpretation. You will see scholars, they say to you as an example, Oh Allah, when he created the soul, he told her what is wrong and what is right. Mm -hmm. So if Allah, he told her what's wrong, what's right, so why you need to send a messenger? And then in order to understand really how stupid those scholars who are trying to explain this verse because it's very confusing, not for me in Arabic, because in Arabic it says, He inspired it with its sin and faith and the good things it does. Very simple. There's no need to uh, scholars. But to get them busted with the explanation they try to give us, we go to the hadith and we will find the following. Imran ibn Hussein told two men of uh, uh, Muazina, blah, 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 blah. You know, they, they are talking about something, about what we do and what we will be rewarded for it, you know, and what is destiny. And look what the answer is. The answer is very simple. You can read the whole hadith. I'm not going to read it all for, for you, but you can. You can read it by your own. And if you are an Indonesian who is going to download this video, uh, you can translate to people who they are going to read it. So, you will see, this is what the Quran is saying. They are quoting here the verse. This is coming, coming from Sahih Muslim. Okay. Translation. Which says by the soul and him who formed, it is implanted in it, its wickedness and its pity. <laughs> so it's you will enjoy Islam if you are an, if a person want to commit sin because Islam make you believe it's implemented in me to be evil anything I do it's not my choice it's my destiny so the answer is found in Allah book this is what the hadith is saying It is something destined and previously decreed for them. So if you do something, you are not making a choice in Islam that will not make you feel guilty because you will say, Oh Allah, he implemented that on me. Oh Allah, he made me do that. Oh Allah, it is my destiny. So then you will feel comfortable about all the garbage you do in your life. This is why you will see Islamic society is the most perverted society ever. You know, Muslim uh, people they see from outside, you know, women wearing hijab, uh, burqa, etc. But under the curtain is the porn stars. Everything is allowed. It's a destiny. They will not feel guilty for they are not guilty according to their prophet and their religion. As you see, its wickedness is implemented in you. It's not a choice to do or not to do. So if I want to follow the devil, I believe Islam is the best way because Islam will not make you feel guilty. You can go sleep around. You can do whatever you want. You know, Muhammad, he made it clear that Allah, he implemented in you your destiny of sin, including zina, which means adultery. Verily, Allah has fixed the very portion of, of adultery, which a man will indulge in, which have he of necessity. It's not a choice. It's a necessity to commit. So if you believe in this, then when you go sleep around with married women, with single women, who care? You are convinced already that this is a necessity to commit. Allah, he put it for me. I cannot even stop it. I cannot even change it. So when they speak about fitrah, this is the fitrah of Islam. You are implemented. Allah programmed you to do bad things or good things. And at the end of the day, it's not you who choose. And that will make you comfortable feeling about what you did because simply it's not you who did. If you remember, we have a debate and argument between Adam and Eve, sorry, Adam and Moses. And then Adam, he said to, uh, to Moses, because of you, uh, we are out of heaven. 
and then Adam he said to him are you going to uh, are you blaming me Moses for something Allah decreed for me 40 years before Allah he created me so Adam he's not feeling guilty Adam he don't feel any guilt of any sin he did you know if you ask a Muslim did Adam disobey Allah they will say yes okay how that can be I mean this is a stupid answer no he did not disobey Allah he did not disobey Allah the fact he obey Allah when he commits sin and this is what the hadith is saying are you blaming me for what Allah has ordained for me before he created me So if you if you read carefully, if you have little intelligence, not a lot, you do not need to be genius, you will find that Adam he obey Allah when he committed sin. Actually, he had no choice to obey or not, anyway. You know, he have to do it. It's a must. So it was a total obedience, programmed obedience. And Adam he explained, he made it so clear that Allah He made that plan for me to do. Do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created me. So what Islam teaching you? Adam commits sin, he have no choice. Allah, he made him commit sin and he have it written for him 40 years before his creation. And the 40 years for Adam goes for every one of you because Allah have a plan for each one of you, the same as Adam. 40 years before he created you to commit all the sin you do in your life and here you see the stupidity of this cult i mean okay so if you are the one who made adam commit sin and you are the one who made every one of us commit sin and when we do obey you and commit the sin which you force us to do then you say to us we are bad people so it's obvious that islam is a wicked religion a very wicked satanic religion make you believe that anything you do you have no guilt of it it take your guilt away not by making you forgiven for your sin no but by convincing you that the sin you do it was a must to do and it is the order of Allah so how in the world this is can be a religion how in the world this is can be from God and how in the world Muslim can explain to us that Adam is out of heaven when Adam he commit no sin? And how in the world me and you we will be punished for not believing in Allah if Allah is the one make us not to believe? Isn't it, this is what the hadith we just showed you saying? Alhamaha fujuraha wa taqwaha. He is the one. He is the one who inspire us with the bad. And is, is is not believing Islam is good or bad? They will say bad. Okay, this is fujur. Fujur is to be not a Muslim, uh, etc. Not to follow Allah order. Okay, hold, hold on. But not following Allah order is a stupid statement. Because as you see, nobody can do his own order. It's a, it is Allah order. Even when you do bad, it's Allah order. Even when you do good, it's Allah order. It is Allah order, which is not you who choose to do or not to do. So Islam not only is satanic, Islamic is so stupid to the point it make you feel stupid and that will make you feel comfortable. You know, the best thing of stupidity that you feel relaxed, okay, you know, I'm not going to think about it. Subhanallah, subhanallah, alhamdulillah. This is why you see those Indonesian Muslims or those who don't speak Arabic, they say word they don't even, and what those words mean? Subhanallah, subhanallah for what? Subhanallah for Allah, he made you commit sin? You're praising Allah. I mean, what, what kind of God this God is? Subhanallah, like, subhanallah for what? He will send you to hell? So when those people repeat things, it is, it is like a, 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 a parrot who repeat things like, she's kebab, she's kebab, she, she's kebab. Okay, they hear subhanallah, all of them say subhanallah, Allah akbar, alhamdulillah, Islam is the great religion. Why it's a great religion? Nobody knows. Nobody want to ask himself for a second, okay, hold on, what is great about this stupid thing? Can you tell me? 
if there is a person his name is a Christian prince and Allah he destined for him to go live on air and he spank Allah every day how that can be subhanallah I mean who is the stupid here so according to this story here and the verse Christian prince he go online every day he spank Allah he leave this the the, the the marks of her five fingers in the ass of Allah every day because Allah decreed for a Christian prince to go life on air so why you want why you hate him a Christian prince is obeying Allah this is what it says read it They were questioning, is it like something we choose or it's a, you know, it's no, it is something which have been destined for them and the previously decreed for them. Okay, the verification of that is the Quran. It's found in the book of, of, of Allah, which says by the soul and him who form it and he implanted its wickedness and its pity. And by the way, question. Why here the translation is different from the translation in the Quran? Guys, do you see here it says, it is he who implanted its wickedness? Do you, do you see this? See the word wickedness? Okay, so why here, you know, why in the translation they don't say it's Allah he implanted? If we, where is the implanted? Look, look at the translation, and it is in, in, in uh, enlightenment as it's wrong and it's right. There is a huge difference between this and that. And this is additional stupid things in Islam. You can translate the Quran as you wish because Islam is messed up cult. Everyone come to you with his own interpretation. However, they cannot get away from what we've shown you on the screen. Where it says clearly, no, Abdul, Allah, he implanted your wickedness inside you. Now, how many of you is going to save this reference? Let us see, because later I'm going to mention it and I will say, guys, who have it? Let us see how many of you will help. This is the hadith. I hope you guys, you are going to save it. So later when we mention it ever, you will be able to have it ready uh, or if you are uh, you know arguing with somebody to show him that Islam is a sick cult all, all the point of Islam is uh, uh, as a satanic cult you know always satanic cult they share one thing to make you feel no guilt do whatever you want so now when you hear this that it's implanted in me that I will do this and that then why I'm going to feel guilty and why I'm going to worry about it it is what it is it's a destiny brother are you getting the point? So if you are a perverted person who like to have sex with the ch uh, children, you know, Islam is good for you. Islam make you believe that the Prophet, he was doing Allah order to have sex with Aisha. Even Allah, he made him see her in her dream. I'm sure he was dreaming about her before he, you know, he, he took her. He's a perverted man. This is how perverted people, they start their perversion. You know, like first they start dreaming about children, you know, imagining them in bed, and then they do it for real. And then if you go, and you see as an example, uh, even a baby, even a baby, I don't want to forget here to mention that Muhammad, like, okay, look at this. You know, like I heard of uh, some of you saying that this guy, Razik, he was found chatting with the women asking her for nude pictures. And I was laughing. I mean, how how that is a crime in Islam. In Islam, you can you can even check the women before you marry her. You can check her legs. You can check her ass. You can check her vagina. You can check it out. The story of daughter of Muhammad herself is, is so clear. So why that is a sin, especially if it is Allah who made them do that. So here you see Muhammad saying, any women and men, they like to have muta. The Muslim Sunni in Indonesia will say to, oh, muta is for this, uh, the Shia, stupid idiot. This is Sunni, your prophet, Sahih al-Bukhari is Shia. They will say to you, no, the prophet, he allowed it at that time. Are you saying to me at that time your prophet was a pimp? Is that what you are saying? So look how they try to fabricate answer and uh, reasons. Oh, it was for certain time. What certain time? This is war. There's war now. War never stop. 
War never stop. Aren't you the one who is shouting jihad, jihad in this video? Jihad, 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 tens of thousands. Jihad, 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 jihad. Look how happy he is. And then when jihad come, only 600 people went to join ISIS. Potato cowards. Jihad, 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 and women wearing burqa and takbir, Allahu Akbar, takbir. And when jihad come, only 689 Indonesian, they went to join jihad. From a nation have hundreds of millions. So where is those tens of thousands who saw, you know, who shout, who shout uh, jihad, jihad? Jihad, jihad, jihad. And the women like, you know, they have a, and they're like a balloon is like jumping. I'm so excited. Like boom, 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 boom. And the guy, hey, jihad, jihad. Okay, jihad is there, come. They are not there. And then the sheikh, he said, we warned the America. If you don't stop, we are ready for holy jihad. And he is the last one to go. Wait, why, why you did not go? Well, why you did not go? All those who make speeches about jihad in Indonesia, they did not go to do jihad. Why? Because they are scammed back. They are fooling you. They will not send their kids. They will not go themselves. They are potatoes enjoying your women, chatting with them. And if jihad is a must from Allah and destiny, why Allah did not force the destiny? <laughs> How come he forced only your sex? <laughs> jihad, jihad. Okay, where are you? You know, here we go, there's, the, the, Jerusalem is waiting, jihad, jihad, like Erdogan, he make a speech, Allahu Akbar, we are going to free, okay, here we go, the guy, he is buying weapons from Israel, he have embassy of Israel, he, you know, he have billions of deal with Israel, he have an army specialist from Israel, he have intelligence, the Mossad, they have a big branch in Turkey, but in a speech, they say, we have to do jihad to free Jerusalem, Allahu Akbar, takbir, jihad, jihad, and then second day, he go and he kissed the ass of the Jews. This is why I say Islam is a joyful for the hypocrites. So if you are Indonesian or non-Indonesian, doesn't matter, and you are hypocrite, you will enjoy Islam. Islam is the best to, to the best to fool around, the best to sleep around. You can you can have four women in your table and you date them in the same time and you hold their hands and say, I oh, love you all. For all right, guys. Sorry, we lost uh, we lost connection for a minute. I hope it's going to come back. Excuse me. All right. Is it working now? So Islam is a very stupid cult. And if you remember in the Hadith, where it even says that. Uh, not only you can have sex for the three days, etc. It says even that, uh, uh, you know, even if you do all what Allah he wrote for, I mean, uh, uh, what Allah asked you for, at the end of the day, um, it's what Allah he wrote for, you will take over. So you do, you pray, you don't do, pray, who care? Muhammad, he made it clear that what is written by Allah for you is going to take over and then you go to hell or you go to heaven. And the hadith here is in front of you, you know? So... Uh, 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 he gave you an example of two people. One, he is going almost to go into heaven, and then he do the, the work of hellfire because Allah, he wrote for him to do the work of hellfire, and then he go to hellfire. What kind of religion this religion is? There's no trust. You cannot trust Allah. This is why he, the, in the hadith it says, La Allah. I cannot trust the deception of Allah. So here you go and you do the work of heaven and there is only a distance of one, like this guy here in front of us, Muhammad saying, and by Allah among you, for me, or uh, may do the deeds of people of fire, till there is only one cupid or an arm, uh, uh, breathe distance between him and the fire. This guy is, is filthy. He is doing the deed of hellfire, which means he is not killing Christian, he is not raping women, he is not doing all garbage stuff, so he is a bad person for Islam. So, and then, he is doing all of this almost he enter, enter, enter fire and then what is written by Allah and between two bracket which Allah has ordered the angels to write yeah the angels of Allah are the software engineer computer you know like they are programming for you in the day of etc you are going to take off your pants in the day of etc you will do poo, poo in the day of etc you will have sex with the goat huh. this is the program what kind of religion is religion and then and then proceed what is written by Allah proceed what is that ah, we are overwriting the software 
and then he does the deeds of people of paradise and he enter it like what the heck the guy was a scumbag just a second ago and then you change the software in a second he became a man of god what kind of cult this cult is and then Muhammad, he switched upside down to the other direction. He says, and the man, and the man, and the man do the deeds of people of paradise. This guy, this guy is going to be screwed now. This guy is praying to Allah, saying, jihad, 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 like in the video. Jihad, jihad. Oh, hold on, you man, your testicles will, 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 will collapse. Don't jump like that much. The American, they will shoot you from, from the airplane. And then, till there is only one cupid between him and paradise. So this guy is jumping, doing jihad, 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 until almost he's at the door. And then Allah gave him a finger. He says, excuse my language. And then he says, and then, and then what is written? But proceed. And he does the deed of the people of fire. And he entered. Hello, you get screwed. Bad news for you. You are doing jihad, you join the Mujahideen, you join Sheikh Razak who was enjoying his life in Saudi Arabia with Big Sari, and now you find out that Allah he screw you. Good luck, Abdul. How that can be a religion? You got screwed. In old days you said to you, you got meal. In this case, you got a finger. Allah he gave you a big finger. I mean, I don't know how long this finger is. But this is a very long finger. I think this religion is called the, ling the religion of fingering. Because you get finger wherever you go. So you enjoy this cult only if you are a fool, stupid, who do not know what you are worshipping, what are you following. The second you start understanding, you will find that you are a donkey and you have to leave it. Actually, Muhammad, he made it clear that he is speaking to donkeys. Look at this. Have you ever heard of a prophet of God? He says such a thing about his followers. Here we go. Prophet of Allah said, does anyone does anyone who raise his head before the Imam not fear that Allah might turn his head into the head of a donkey? Like what? I thought this is always a decree. Everything we do is a decree. So even if he raise his head, there's a decree from Allah. And what the crime now if he raise his head? So Allah will not make a person who rape a child a donkey, but he will make you donkey for raising your head. Go try it and see if Muhammad is truthful or not. Aren't you afraid? Brother, the prophet beat upon him. He said that if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make you the head of a donkey. And if you don't believe it, look at me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And look at all the garbage we are showing the Abdul, and look what he's asking me. Christian Prince, why you don't show your face? Are you scared? Are you a terrorist? Are you saying you are a terrorist? Thank you very much. You just confirmed that your Islam is a stupid religion. Are you scared? Scared of who? From the Muslims? You potato. You are scared of everybody. This is why you believe in the conspiracy. If somebody make a toy, he says this toy is against Aisha. If somebody make ice cream, this is haram. If somebody eat pork, Allahu Akbar, this is against Allah. You are the one who is scared. You are scared of everything. You are scared from your wife. Because your wife, she can divorce you any second, any time. She leave you for a better husband, as Aisha, she was doing. Don't talk about scared. You are the most scared people ever. Because you are paranoid. Anything they see around them is, con you know, like a conspiracy. To the point even the head of a donkey became your head as you see your prophet saying that so from all that we said to you you are worried about why i'm not showing my face why you want to see my face this is what you like this is what you got from this uh, conversation now show me your face show me your face great and prince i trained you to throw me your face as i can like i'm not good looking like you great and prince i'm sexy and you know it exactly as i can like you are sexy you are very sexy like your prophet huh? Stupid people, look what we are talking about. Look who's ask, asking me why well, you don't saw your face. From all the garbage we just showed you, you're asking me why I don't show my face? This is what makes you worry now? What if I show you my face? What will happen now? Trust me, you will do poop on your panty. 
Abdul saying, stop, stop lying. Uh, uh, guys, I'm showing the hadith in front of me and they say to me, stop lying. I mean, can you believe it, those Abdul? What kind of food you are eating? Every single word I say it, it is on the screen. And they are saying, Christian Prince, stop lying. Lying? Are you sure? <laughs> God bless the Chinese. They said he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. Not a single word. I say it, it's not in the screen. And they say, stop lying. It's in the screen. This is your prophet saying, you stop lying. It's your Quran saying, stop lying. Look like he is saying to us that Allah is lying. Because I'm showing you what Allah and his prophet said. And you say to me, this is a lie. Thank you very much. So guys, I'm not going to keep you for long. Download the video, share it with your friends, and let the Abdul, advise the Abdul not to raise their head in the front of a Christian prince. Because as you see, if you raise, I am your Imam now. If you raise your head in the front of me, or before of me, Allah will make your head as a donkey. And that explains a lot of things happening around this earth these days. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. We love the Muslims. We feel sorry for them. And we don't want you to be behave like a donkey. We want you to be a human. Forget about the donkey Muhammad. He is the biggest donkey. The one who says to you, if you raise your head before Imam, Allah will make your head a donkey. He is obviously the donkey. He's insulting you. He have a brain of a donkey. What? How smart this guy is to say such a statement? Do you think this is... I mean, Muslims, they make fun of the Buddhas. Uh -huh. You will not find such a stupid statement from the Buddhas. They make fun of the Dalai Lama. You will not find such a stupid statement from the Dalai Lama. Brother, the pagan. You will not find a stupid statement from any pagan person in the world. You raise your head before the Imam. Your head will turn to be a dog. Why Why not a horse? Why not a... Or do you remember the guy who inserted the miswak in his anus so Allah, he made him deliver a rat? This is a different story we can talk about in a different time. So you can die laughing. Thank you very much for being here. And Islam is a stupid made by the fool for the fool. And if Muhammad, the fool, he fool you. How fool are you? Don't forget to join us on Patreon if you like to be updated, excuse me, and to know where we are going to go live. Subscribe to this channel and other channels and those who download our videos and support them. And in the same time, feel free to read my books. You can find them all over in Amazon. And there's free books which can be found for certain languages, for Indonesian specifically, Albanian, uh, uh, Polish, Russian, uh, you know, uh, many languages are for free as a gift from me for people who like to see the truth. May the Lord bless you and save you all. Islam is made by a fool for the fool. And thank God, I am not a fool. See you, and God bless you. Take care.